Hi, I'm Peter Kelmstrom of Kelmstrom.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll continue working on my Tasks app here in Power Apps. I've created that based on a SharePoint site. So here are the tasks to do, and those in turn are based on these task templates. And I've created a flow that automatically creates those tasks that are due for actually doing. So the next step I'm going to do here is add a search functionality. So the search functionality is uh, rather do it yourself. So I'm going to put in a text input here to actually fill in what I'm searching for. And yeah, that works rather well in that position there. I'm just going to make it a bit to the right there. And then I'm going to insert an actual search icon here. So let's do that. Search. And I'm going to put that to the left more or less okay right yep and then I'm gonna just put that so that it has a clear button on it let's see if I can find that one no it's not on here so I have to go into advanced and search for clear because I want the user to be able to simply click or to clear that text box when it's filled out make that a true and then I'm gonna rename this thing also double click there going to call it txt search it's a good idea to name your things in general and then of course yeah the default text should not be uh, text input it should be cleared so there we go so now to actually make this do the work of searching i'm going to go to this gallery and find the items property and filter so i'm going to filter the stuff that we already have so this is the stuff that we have right those are the tasks that remain to be done i'm going to filter that one more time so filter that and i'm going to filter that based on the text uh, search text is in the title and that should do it just make sure that you have enough of the closing parentheses that these match up and they do so let's try this now so let's do work. There you go. Uh, clean. Yep, you see it works. So just a little bit of cleanup there. We need to make that refresh thing a little bit smaller so that it fits or move everything down. No, nope. let's move everything down. And notice that we got a warning here that this uh, might not work well in large data sets. That's the warning we're getting there. Let's see if I can see that warning. Yeah, the highlighted uh, might not work uh, on large data sets. That's not a problem for us, so we can just ignore that. All right, so that concludes this demonstration on how to add search functionality to a Power App. Thank you for watching this demonstration.